He's like, look, my movies are stupid and they know they're stupid. And you just have to enjoy that. Claire, Robot Jocks and Robot Wars crossover for Achilles and Drake yeah. Fight. Oh no, what have I done? This is a big travesty. Okay. Oh, just... <laughs> one before you go, one before I drag you out of the robot. Just in case you don't make it, baby. So I recently watched Robot Jocks at your recommendation after Robot Wars. And you definitely see the similarity between the two movies. But Robot Jocks does have some more robot action in it than Robot Wars did. And it's basically in a future where there are two countries more or less left in the world, the United States and I think China is the other one. No, and, it's more like oh, Russia. Russia. Yeah, it was yeah. Russia. That's right. Yeah. It's really a euphemism to... NATO and the, and, and the U.S. and the USSR, because it was still just kind of still a thing at that time, that Cold War action. Cold War hadn't quite ended at that point in time. It was made in 1989, so right, right? We were still in the Cold War era. So it's, it's made by Stuart Gordon, who is a well-known B-movie filmmaker, and it stars um, Gary Graham as this guy who is one of the robot jocks. And he's your typical, you know, kind of badass robot jock type. And he's got to go up against the robot jock of the Russians, who is the evil one. He kills people, whereas like when they win the battle between the two robots, you could just end it. But the evil Russian robot driver kills him because he's Russian. Because he's Russian, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's basically how all conflict between the two countries is have. So in this situation, they're fighting over Alaska at that point in time. So they put two giant robots into a ring. They fight each other. And the winning robot or the winning country of the robot gets whatever it is they're fighting over. That's basically robot jocks. Yeah. Well, because the thing is, it's 50 years after the the like nuclear holocaust so they decided hey we're just gonna fight with giant robots instead of like nuking each other because we almost <laughs> yeah. killed the whole human race right we don't want that to happen again yeah and you can even kind of see it with there's posters around if you take a look at when people are walking around all the posters of like pregnant women and women with children <laughs> because they're trying to repopulate they'd want that propaganda of repopulation right so here's the thing this is a very 80s movie actually because it was made a number of years prior to its release because the production company empire uh went bankrupt in the middle of it and triumph took it over so it was a big delay so it's still a very 80s movie oh. and the thing about the 80s is robots were big in the 80s robots were popular every of the robot robotech transformers um and this is kind of like the og pacific rim right the giant robots um Robots were even bigger than ninjas in the 80s. That's how that's how big robots were. It's funny when we were watching it, I said that too. I'm like, I wonder if Guillermo del Toro watched this at some point in his youth. Oh, but he did. Because <laughs> you totally get the, it, I thought Pacific Rim as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Stuart Gordon, um, he, he directed Reanimator. You know that, right? Yep, of course. Yeah. Yep. And he directed this one. And he, he, uh, he accosted uh, the screenwriter. His name was Joe Halderman. And he's like an award-winning sci-fi author, mm. like, a, like a novelist. He won a whole bunch of sci-fi awards. So he uh, wrote this one. He was excited about it. But then um, he, was, he was not happy because <laughs> I guess he didn't like the movie. And um, he didn't he like what it was Stewart a, did with it. Is that what it was? Well, it went through a bunch of like re-edits and all of this and and eventually he just thought it was just kind of this stupid childish movie mm. and he wasn't wrong <laughs> yeah it is he wasn't wrong it's a stupid childish movie i, I can't see how but it's awesome yeah well that's the thing like i wonder what his vision of this film was then beyond what it is because to <laughs> me it seems like it's exactly what it should be yeah you know yeah yeah no and even with like the the screenwriter not liking it and even with the fact that it had to change hands in production, I, I, I like this movie. I don't know about you, but I, 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 I really like this movie. It's campy. I, I don't, I don't, it's like Reanimator. Like, I think Stuart Gordon knows that he's like, look, my movies are stupid and they know they're stupid. 
And you just have to enjoy that. And yeah. that's what I liked about this movie. Um, it, it, it's, it's stupid. And it, it's supposed to be. Yeah, well, we even got a Jeffrey Combs cameo in it at one point. Yeah, and I, I like Gary Graham because I, I remember him from like the Alien Nation TV show. And um, he, he's actually a likable character, right? So he's kind of this badass uh, robot jocks. But he's pretty vulnerable. You could tell he's kind of beat up, a little, little older. And you have these new, what do they call them, uh, tubies? Yeah, the goofy genetically little engineered yeah. robot drivers. And they're coming to replace him. And he's kind of just, he's on his 10th fight. He's an old veteran. And, and he's just kind of, he, he's a likable. He, he's not like that. He's not like Drake. Right. In fact, yeah. I think Achilles should go kick Drake's ass. If it's in the same universe, he should just go donkey punch him, you know? I'd watch for us. Yeah, they need a a robot jocks and robot worlds crossover where Achilles and Drake fight and Achilles destroys him. In some countries, they call robot wars robot jocks to robot wars. Mm. I could see this being in the same universe. Absolutely. Yeah, they're probably in the same universe, but they're they're not they're not the same characters or anything. Yeah. But there is one character. This one was so much more better too than uh, Robot Wars. Yeah, yeah. They they obviously had a bigger bu- budget. In fact, it was uh, the most expensive movie that Empire made, which is why <laughs> <where, laughs> they went broke in the middle. Like, they just put all our money people. in this movie, and then, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, but then, uh, so um, so he, he's a veteran, right? And, and these two Bs are kind of taking over, um, and he's hanging out with his mentor, Tex, who turns out to be a spy what you, know, you just give away that to anybody who hasn't seen the movie yet well they should have watched the, the movie before they spoiler watched alert man yep. geez yep and the doctor there the kind of the mech uh, engineer dr matsumoto was the one who who found out that he's a spy but did he look familiar to you dr matsumoto oh, absolutely recognized him yeah that's denny uh kamakona mm-hmm from our, Robot Wars, from Karate Kid, yeah, from all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Our, that's our guy. I like you. I like him. Oh, rest, yeah. rest in peace, brother. We we we're big fans, man. Totally, he's great. <laughs> here's my here's my favorite part of the movie, though. <laughs> here's my favorite part of the movie. So Achilles and Alexander, whose accent is amazing. The guy who played him just went over the top on on the Russian oh, with bad guy accent. Yeah, <laughs> I am evil <laughs> Russian. I feel. I like you. Eat, I kill you. I drink <laughs> vodka and I murder your family. <laughs> <laughs> just like over the top. Yeah, like Soviet propaganda kind of stuff right there. Yeah. Um, but he's great. But anyway, he's he's fighting with Achilles in the in this arena. I love their weapons because they have like chainsaw penises and and shooting arms and all that kind of sweet 80s robot stuff right yeah exactly so he show, she shoots the robot at a uh, shoots the arm at achilles but it kind of goes off kilter so achilles oh i'm gonna go save all the people and it hits him and then he falls into the people uh and all these people are like we're dying this sucks and 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 you could just see achilles he's like oh what have I done? This is a big travesty. Ooh, just like five minutes of him like, oh my God. And the whole time, dude, I'm thinking, what the hell did you guys expect? Yeah, really? Like you you <laughs> built this arena. You have these two giant robots with, you know, missiles and, and, and all this crazy. I mean, you're actually technically fighting a war <laughs> with robots yeah. over land. And you're going to put it in an arena and, and you're not going to like maybe put some kind of protection for the people it's just a normal arena you didn't see this coming what kind of well they said it they said it in the film they were like they signed a waiver so (laughs) what you know why do you feel guilty about (laughs) it achilles they signed a waiver (laughs) yeah but like dr matsumoto should have been like you know i think maybe we need maybe some barriers or some kind of thing more distance yeah or something or maybe we can televise it or or something because i think Someone might get a hurt with this, you know, giant destructing, destructy robots trying to like destroy each other, like right there in that little arena, and people are just kind of watching it. 
I don't know why anybody was surprised. I wasn't. I was looking yeah. at all the people suffering, a little t- close up on the teddy bear. You know, some mm-hmm. kids got killed too. And I'm like, I don't, <laughs> I am not like, surprised at all. That's what you get, man. That's what you get. You know, come on. No safety <laughs> standards Robot whatsoever, I guess, in the future. They're just like, eh, <laughs> they might fall on you. You know, you signed a waiver. Yeah. Bring your good. kids, though. It's good fun. It's get a hot dog. Family. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Let's go watch some robots fight. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, there was a lot of like unbelievable stuff about it too, and and a lot of the fighting was like that, that doesn't make sense. Why why are they doing that? Like the whole into space bit. He's <laughs> like, so I'm gonna just go into space, so he'll follow me into space, shoot me in space, so then I can crash. Like, what was what was the plan there with the whole space thing? <laughs> <laughs> to add on to that, though. He got shot with the missile, and they're in space. And per chance and by luck, um, he lands right in the same place they came from. <laughs> right next to the arena. Yeah. How convenient is that? Oh, I got hit by a missile, and I'm in space. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm crashing. Oh, I just crash landed in the same spot that I was at. Lucky. Yeah. No problem. I'm going to hit my transform button, and my robot's ready to go and fight some more. <laughs> Yeah, he goes transformer mode, turns into like this tank, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> How could you not love that? Yeah, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I was a kid when this came out, man. And this is like, this is, I think this is probably made for kids, but oh, it's very okay. adult too. Um, yeah, it's I mean, got- I'm an adult and I enjoyed this film. Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. It's completely unbelievable. Like there's so much that happens and you're like, what? That doesn't make sense. Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense, but you got to let that go and just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know? Cause here's the thing, the stop motion animation. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty dated. Bad. I mean, it was pretty dated at the time because oh, stop totally. motion. Yeah. In, but, in the late eighties, they had better stop motion than that. Yeah. They, they, they did for sure. But it's still, I think it's charming the way it, it is, you know, just, it's kind of like a Ray Harryhausen type of thing where, okay, it's kind of fake, but I think that's part of its charm. Because Ray this was isn't... rolling over in his grave. He was, or I don't know if he was dead then, but like, you know, he's rolling in his grave. He's like, no, don't compare that to any of my stuff. My stuff's too good. <laughs> yeah. If I did robots, it'd be better. <laughs> uh, this, this movie came out, some people say 89, some people say 90. Because I think it didn't get a theatrical release until 1990. And even then, it was very limited. Straight Um, to VHS, and then people kind of were liking it, maybe? Yeah, it it had a very limited theatrical release. Mm -hmm. uh, But then it kind of disappeared. People didn't know about it. But it went to to VHS and stuff. And and it started to get on cable. I remember watching this, like, on cable Hmm. um, back in the day. And I just loved it because, I mean, it's giant robots. And, you know, unlike Robot Wars, where they're just not doing a whole lot in between the robot fights, there's there's a lot of stuff going on. There's espionage. There's spies. Um, there's murder. There's fighting. Um, well, there's and there's the, uh, the, the, the sexual tension between, yeah. um, what's the, what, what was the girl's name? Athena. Athena, that's right. So there's that whole sexual Athena Achilles tension between the two. And what they did with that was really kind of a nice little twist. Like when they're getting towards the end bit. And so basically Athena is supposed to actually go fight the Russian guy because Achilles is like, I don't want to fight because I'm done. I did my 10 fights and I'm out of here. And Athena's like, yeah, I'm going to kick ass. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a test tube robot fighter, baby. And it, but there's all this tension between them. And then he's like, no, I'm going to do it. And then she's like, screw you. And there's a moment where they're in his room and you're like, okay, this is where the sex is going to happen. Cause they're fighting, you know, he's on. And then like, she turns it around on him and you're like, that was unexpected and really good. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 She's kind of tough, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she had to beat all those other tubies to become the next robot jocks. And she was yeah. going to go fight Achilles. But oh, he I really don't... likes her. Right. <laughs> So he comes back out of retirement. She's pissed off. So she goes and like beats the shit out of him and <laughs> totally takes he, his... he tries to get all sexual, but she's like, no, nah, I'm not having none of that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's like, okay, we just fought. Now we're going to get it on. And she's like, fuck you, dude. You're out. Locks him in his room and then goes, take, takes his robot. <laughs> she's like, she's so badass. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, what was cool too is like that scene where all the 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 test tube fighters are fighting that going up that rack right to, and it's like the first one gets to, gets to the top gets to fight and as they're all going up they're all like dying right so they spent <laughs> who knows how much money training all of these yeah, fighters to get to this point and then like yeah okay well that one fell and died that one fell and died and it's like well there's money well spent <laughs> yeah <laughs> and they're not only dying not falling and dying and they're even kind of trying to kill each other yeah exactly totally against each other that's hardcore dude that's like <laughs> That was awesome. Yeah, but she ended up getting to the top, and then she went to go fight, but Alexander kind of beat her up. And then and then Achilles goes out there, and, oh, and takes and the, she's like, all robot injured that's and all stuff, like beat up. And, he, and he's, like, <laughs> smooching up on her. It's like, dude, you might, like, be her neck might be broken. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> she's, like, unconscious. Like, yeah, possibly, um, like, um, you know, um, broken <laughs> bones and internal injuries. And he's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> one before you go, well, before I drag you out of the robot. Just in case oh, you wow. don't make it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> A little something to remember me by. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but then they have and, their... and I like how the robot was like barely damaged too. Like so, so <laughs> once he's in it, he's like, okay, getting back up, and we're going again. <laughs> yeah. But then, but then, like the fights, all you think the fight's over, but he goes and he hot wires. Oh yeah, the, the missile because he knows how it all works. He's like, <laughs> okay, all wire. I need to do is hot wire this wire to this wire to this wire, and that'll make this happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Conveniently, the piece I need yeah, is but in it turns this. out into like a. A mano e mano fight. <laughs> oh, do we want to talk about the ending? Well, we've more or less spoiled most of the movie. So at this point, well, you can audience, edit spoilers out. Yeah, if you don't, can... no, I'm not going to edit the spoilers. I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a, uh, I'll put a maybe like a spoiler warning on the thumbnail. Yeah, but but the ending is so stupid. <laughs> he's like, they're fighting, and he's like, we don't have to fight, man. We can live. We can live. <laughs> and the bad guy's like. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can live. And then they do this. <laughs> I know they're like buddies. All that thumbs. Yay. <laughs> Ridiculous ending. It's like you just killed a whole bunch of peace people, Russian dude. You're like super evil. And then like just takes a few words. We can live. Okay. Yeah. I am now your and friend. And here's the thing. Normally I'd be pissed off about an ending like that because it's just so absurd. Oh, but for this movie, for works. some reason I'm not. It works because the whole movie is absurd anyway. Yeah. And so ending on a just a, a ridiculous note like that, it just works, man. I'm not even angry. I'm not even pissed. I'd be no. pissed off any other movie if they did that to me. Yeah. I wonder if that's in the original script or if that was a Stuart Gordon ad too. Well, it's probably why Joe Halderman was like, <laughs> Hates the film. But that was his only screenplay, too. He never oh, did another. Oh, no. He really, after that, he's <laughs> like, I'm done with Hollywood. Screw you guys. Yeah, I'm out of here. That's back my books, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's he saw? He probably bullshit. made the decision when he saw that ending. He yeah. probably went to the theater and he saw the ending and he just got up and just walked out. I'm never <laughs> writing a screenplay again. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> oh, poor Joe. Oh, poor, poor Joe. Hey, Joe, we love your movie, though. Yeah, we think it's fine. Don't, yeah. don't... Here's a quote from Joe. I, um, according to him, he's like, oh, I understand people. Some people like it. Um, but to me, it's like a, having a child that started out well but then went brain damage <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, probably you know, not wrong i think that's probably <laughs> about right yeah. kid, but you love him anyway right <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> he basically called it a, like a <laughs> special little child i know you like the special little child but he used to be healthy but then he <laughs> fell on his head <laughs> He didn't come out that way. He was fine when he was born. My little sperm, my, my sperm is healthy, okay? He didn't uh, come out that way. His mom <laughs> dropped him, all right? <laughs> <It's funny. laughs>